So I love this game series called Monster Hunter. Um, it's a series that I played originally when I was a little kid in a metry school with Monster Hunter Try and Try Ultimate. And ever since then, I haven't really played a Monster Hunter game since then. That changed recently because the news of Monster Hunter Wilds was coming out and I kind of wanted to get back. So I pick up the fifth generation and played World Iceborne Rise and Sunbreak to the point of some might say a little too much. What could I say? The only reason is I absolutely love these games and also just the series of Moss Hunter. But why do I love Moss Hunter so much to put a crazy amount of hours in it after so long not playing it. In case you don't know what Monster Hunter is, it's a game made by Capcom, consists of five generations, soon sits with wilds, where you kill monsters, gather their material, make armor and weapons out of their materials to fight even bigger, more dangerous monster. That's like the very basic gist of what this game series is about. But first we have to understand why did I like this series originally when I was a little kid. And this answer was honestly really easy to pop up because I still have the same feeling about Moss Owner since I was a little kid. And that is seeing cool ass monster design and killing them. Like one of my most favorite memories is like fighting Lucia Chris in Moss Hunter Tribe because it's just a cool ass monster and I got the chance to kill it. It did probably kill me a bunch of time when I was little. Um, I do remember that or Raffles for the very first time during then or even seeing Giganauts for the first time and scaring the shit out of me when I was little. It was so awesome and honestly really impressional for little me to kill big giant monsters seeing the amazing design and i still have that feeling as an adult it's just goddamn cool to see these monsters and kill the hell out of them and then carve their bodies and then make armor out of them and weapons it's goddamn awesome and let's be honest here that essence of monster hunter making big giant monsters and killing them will never change in the series because that's the point of the series fight monsters and kill the shit out of them and carve them and make cool armor and i would not have it any other way with that of course there's a bunch of monsters and things in the series that you could honestly cool with amazing design and people have their ferrets and this is where i'm going to mention my top three favorite monsters so the first one is narakuga i love this monster for the very simple reason of its design and also the concept of being an agile type of pan for wyvern that is sometimes a bitch to fight but i still love it the second one is primordial melzino it's a variant of melzino which is actually the original melzino that didn't get affected by the curio it's i'm not going to go in depth it's a cool ass paladin vampire type of monster it's awesome i i love it and the last one is lakaya chris can we please have him back come on please can we please have lakaya chris back like it's been a while can we have it back in wilds since generation like pretty please uh, lakaya chris come back on terry on top please of course this is not the only reason why i like monster hunter there's another reason why i absolutely love it especially now since i'm a lot more older and that is the replayability of the game talking about monster hunter replayability is kind of talking about a lot about the game because the game is built around replaying the game over and over and over so i'm just going to mention like the main things and not like every Thing, because if i do god damn we're gonna be here forever let's get to one of the main ones and that is going to be the weapons monster hunter has a big amount of weapons that you could choose from around like 14 which is absolutely crazy each weapon have their own unique play style but also on top of that there is the player own unique play style so let's say you play sword and shield your play style or your experience with sword and shield will be completely different than a other person who is playing sword and shield and there's multiple factors into this this could be the build you're doing let's say you're doing a raw build with blast or a poison build or an elemental build those are like the very little of it or what your build is going to consist of like more of a guard or more evasive or more of a like no hit type of build low hp build there's just a lot that you could do with the weapon and the skills that will the game will provide you with if you play throughout the whole game that will make your experience completely different 
But that's not the only thing. <laughs> the monsters also drastically change it and how they're going to behave, that which areas they're going to do, which attack they're going to do. If you could paralyze them, sleep them, poison them, knock them down. Like there's so much things in just a monster behavior that the experience of replaying or refighting a monster feels relatively different than the first time or the last time you have fought that monster there is also multiplayer in this game so playing with friends will also drastically change and add on more time that you could play and or different experience more shenanigans more cool moments alone with just playing with people online with friend or anything like that and it's so goddamn fun to do that if you get bored of like monster hunter or like one thing about monster hunter like one of the best things you could do is pick up a new weapon or play with friends or fight a different monster that you normally don't fight and learn there's so much things and that's only the main things too there's mid matching your gear like trying to get the best possible gear overall for me personally if i get bored of monster hunter i'm just going to switch off my main which is sword and shield i absolutely love that weapon but playing over 500 hours of that one weapon you're going to get bored of it so for me i personally just switch weapons or play with friends because it's fun having different shenanigans and learning a new weapon dying a bunch and it's just again really fun off of that and i really appreciate monster hunter because of that because i personally believe having a game that you're able to replay over and over is just something that games should strive because it just makes it more fun and monster hunter achieves that phenomenally and I have to say, these two reasons alone is honestly the main reason why I love Monster Hunter. The monster designs, killing them, carving them, using their um, materials for armor and weapons are just fucking cool. And also the replayability of the game makes it where it's fun to keep on doing that over and over by mid matching playing a different play style having shenanigans with my friend all of this is the reason why i love monster hunter and yes there is points of monster hunter i do not like like them going way too far of a grind fest like for example world you have to grind for decorations and also the guiding lands is a name grinding lands and it's a really heavy grind and it sometimes get relatively boring or rise break with the alumni investigation having way too much levels and it take forever to get to maths those are things i wish they dialed down but it's not going to ruin my overall enjoyment for monster hunter because there's other things i love about it and what they have achieved is way more phenomenal than any other game have done in my opinion so i want to talk about the future of monster hunter especially since we are in the sixth generation at this point with monster hunter wild and i'm going to keep it relatively short because we have recently got a bunch of information in games called the demos content creators talking about it and giving their opinion about it and i have to say what i have seen from all of these videos and just the trailers and everything i'm hyped for it dude it just looks cool it's everything that i like about monster hunter killing them and potentially a lot of replayability out of it because everything is seamless and i am super hyped for that to play wilds and have that same experience like always in monster hunter and i hope that doesn't change at all and hopefully this doesn't bite me in the butt i Again, think the game will be a great and amazing journey once it does come out. But this is pretty much where I'm going to end it all. I love Monster Hunter as a series and the games that I have played. So I hope all you have a wonderful day. Good luck and see ya.